the dude sunbathes on a tanning bed, but ends up being burned alive. The employee remarks it's his karma, turns out. Yesterday, the dude left his dog locked in the car, the employee reminded him of, the scorching 37 degree outdoor temperature, warning the dog could quickly succumb to heat stroke, dismissive. The dude retorted, it's not your dog anyway, just focus on your job, he went off to the gym, the employee, concerned about the dog, stormed into the gym, grabbed a dumbbell, and headed back, unaware of her intentions. The dude was still clueless, another employee reminded him the timer on the sunbed, was broken and asked him to fix it, however, the dude paid no attention, then, the sound of shattering glass echoed, the dude rushed out to find his car window smashed, enraged, he immediately fired the woman, however, the next day, when the woman came to collect her wages, she found the man already on the sunbed, roasted to a crisp, under the ice, there's a boy's face, on closer inspection, the boy's eyes open, Just a moment ago, the boy was playing on the ice, when it unexpectedly cracked. He fell in, struggling, a turtle crawls over, blocking his last hope. Luckily, a passerby notices, sees the boy in the water, firefighters arrive, tearing a bedsheet into strips for a makeshift rope. Slowly, with the help of the sheet, the dude approached the boy, chipping away at the ice. But just as he is about to pull the boy up, the ice cracks again, and both fall in, in this critical moment. The bedsheet plays a crucial role, pulling both to safety. The man won the champion of the bodybuilders, his father, the previous champion, excitedly took the stage and lifted the trophy with him, but... The firefighters arrived quickly, the scene is chaotic, the father and son were trapped in the stage, and scolded by the enraged fans, because the liquid in his arm is synthetic oil, which can expand his muscles, to everyone's surprise, the father is a liar, all the honors he worked hard for throughout his life, are completely ruined today, this will also affect the future of his son, after emergency medical care, the firefighters were prepared to send him to the hospital, but the furious fans trapped them, the black policewoman had to hold the microphone, is illegal. But I do know this, that pursuant to section 148.2 of the California State Penal Code, it is a misdemeanor to willfully obstruct emergency personnel from discharging their official duty. Finally, the crowd left. Before leaving, the guy decided to give up the hard-earned trophy just acquired. At the zoo, the guy tosses a rock at a tiger, not satisfied goes for a second shot at its head, a hot lady steps in to shut down this lousy behavior, the man, red-faced, leaves with his two nephews, but, while he's in the restroom, shouts from outside grab his attention, smelling trouble, he hurries out, he only hears the tiger's low growls getting closer, he turns around, there's the same fierce beast he'd teased earlier, it looks like payback time, seeing this, the man speed dials emergency services, paramedics tell him to stay put, but he brushes them off, turns on his heels, and bolts, he hops over the fence, thinking he's in the clear, but tigers aren't to be messed with, in a split second, the tiger leaps into the iron cage, when the firefighters roll up at the zoo, all they witness is the tiger having a feast on the guys, do you reckon this is karma, the hot girl stuck in the wall, all because her breast is too large, she swears, the first thing after getting out, is to undergo breast reduction surgery, turns out the lady has been trapped for 24 hours, her breathing gradually weakened, firefighters pulled with all their might, but due to the wall being too close, it had no effect, the woman's complexion worsened, firefighters suspected compression injuries, warning the girl not to move, instructed her to hold onto her fingers, to distract her attention, but the woman's breathing became more rapid, as the firefighters guided her to deep breaths, she seized the opportunity, inserting tools into the gap, instructing teammates to spray lubricant immediately, then, with a forceful effort, she finally pulled the woman out. Do you still want to undergo breast augmentation surgery? The baby was on the verge of drowning. Fortunately, the woman suddenly woke up, lifted the baby from the water. Even though the doctor assured the baby was fine, the mother still felt a deep sense of guilt, took the child to the fire station. Not now, and maybe... I know that you're going to take really good care of her, and she's better off without me. The firefighter husband, upon watching the video, teared up. Meanwhile, his wife arrived at the seaside. Since giving birth, the wife had been raising the child on her own. Overwhelming pressure left her breathless, longing to end the pain with death. 
A few days later, the woman woke up, in order to undergo treatment, moved back to the hospital in her hometown. After recovery, she returned home once again. By this time, her husband had learned the art of parenting, pledging never to let her bear the burden alone again. Have you ever experienced overwhelming stress? The dude is dying, but the emergency call he made in his final moments was intentionally hung up on. Hey, hang up. Sir, who hung up on you? 911. Two police officers look puzzled. Originally, the two came to eat, but the restaurant is empty with half eaten meals on the tables. The police holding guns go to the kitchen and find the barely conscious owner. He's been shot in the left chest lying on the ground. The woman provides first aid. The dude regains consciousness. Turned out, he encountered a robber, but the call he made was hung up. To everyone's surprise, the one who hung up the call was Lily, a senior operator at the 911 emergency center. She has been working here for over 10 years, being the most efficient and fastest operator in the entire police department. However, it was her who maliciously hung up on thousands of emergency calls. Soon, the police arrested her and investigated. Eight months ago, Lily divorced her husband, unable to cope with the emotional blow. She vented her emotions at work. Soon, Leah was dismissed from the police department. Do you think this woman should be forgiven? The hot girl is doing yoga, hanging upside down on the balcony. In the next moment, The rescue team arrives at the scene, finding the girl is unable to move, learning she fell from the seventh floor. The team is preparing for the forensic examiner. Miraculously, the girl wakes up. Firefighters immediately stabilize her spine, ready to carry her down. However, both of the woman's legs are broken, so they need to secure her with a splint first. At this moment, the girl keeps mentioning her phone. The team leader, noticing this, sends someone upstairs to check and discovers the still broadcasting phone. It turns out the girl was attempting this challenging yoga on the balcony to become an online sensation and earn money. Little did she expect to end up in this situation. Man was peeing. Suddenly, the portable toilet got blown up into the sky. A minute ago, the man was in desperate need to pee. He ran to the portable toilet quickly. Just as he closed the door and answered the nature call, a hot wind came. The ice cream in the girl's hand melted in the blink of eyes. The temperature rises constantly. The man in the toilet was sweating profusely and took off the t-shirt. He want to leave but when he opened the door, but the handle is too hot to burn his hand. The sealed environment causes the temperature inside to keep rising. The man realized it's dangerous and started to hail for the help. Out of his blue, the portable toilet got blown up into the sky. It goes beyond the ferris wheel flying higher and higher. The man inside is tormented to the point where life is unbearable. Having no choice, he dialed 911. Man was peeing. Suddenly, the portable toilet got blown up into the sky. Having no choice, he dialed 911. The operator asks where he is but he has no idea. He tried to kick open the door, but the handle has melted and fused with the plastic. At this moment, the toilet started to fill with water. The man was likely to have ended up in the sea. The water level kept rising. The man was terrified. The operator continued to comfort him. After checking some information, she discovered the top of a portable toilet was secured with screws and can be opened with a coin. Luckily, the man happened to have a coin with him. Just as he was turning the screw, the coin fell into the water. The man lost his last hope. At this point, firefighters arrived at the amusement park and found the toilet in a large water tank. After cutting open the cover, they indeed found the man inside. 